Here's what I'm asking you to do. Walk away from the 97%. Don't use their vocabulary. Don't use their excuses. Don't use their method of drift and neglect. Won't even walk around the block for their health. Won't even eat an apple a day. Won't even take the time to refine their philosophy for a better life. Walk away and join the 3%. Guess how many people can retire from the income of their own personal resources when it comes time to retire? Answer, 5%. In America, 5% of the people are independent. 95% are dependent. Take charge of your own retirement, you can multiply it at least by five. Let the government take care of it, some company take care of it, you got to divide by five. <laughs> I'm asking you to take charge of your own retirement, take charge of your own life. It happens to be one of the titles of my own cassette program, Take Charge of Your Own Life. That's what we've talked about here all morning. Take charge of your own day. Don't have days like most people have, you'll wind up broken poor. Pennies, no treasures. Trinkets, no value. Change it all. And it starts as simple as an apple a day. It starts as simple as the first book of your new library. It starts as simple as the first journal that you get and make the first entry that when people see it will say this is the beginning of a study of a serious student. They're going to be healthy. They're going to be powerful. They're going to be rich. They're going to have it all. Look, they've committed themselves to a whole new journey. I'm asking you to do that. But what's easy to do is what? Easy not to do. But walk away from the 90%. Walk away from the 97%. Walk away from the 95%. Don't go where they go. Don't do what they do. Don't talk like they talk. Develop you a whole new language. Be part of the few. Guess when I went and got this little book, Richest Man in Babylon? Guess when I went and got it? The same day I heard about it. I went and got it. Somebody says, well, Mr. Rohn, does that make you different than most everybody else? And the answer is yes. Somebody says, well, why is that? We don't know. <laughs> what do we know? You don't know. I don't know. Nobody knows. All we know is some get the spark and say, I'm going to change my life. I'm going to change my health. I'm going to change my relationship with my family. I'm going to change everything. And if it starts with an apple, if it starts with a walk around the block, if it starts with a book, if it starts with a journal, whatever it starts with, I'm a candidate. I'm ready to go and change my life. I invite you on that journey. Once you look back on it, you will never turn back. You'll never go back to the old ways and the old language and the old neglect. Never. Cardiovascular problems in alone in America create over a thousand funerals a day. And 70% of it is neglect. I'm asking you not to hope they're going to fix this out here next year so that you'll be healthier. I'm asking you to pick up some new disciplines so that you will be healthier. Drive yourself to do it, book by book, entry by entry. It's all available for you.